children, are you getting ready for Santa? Yes. Now it's time for bed. But Uncle Fester was about to read the story. It's not Christmas without the story. Finish! Okay, the story. Fester, please. The Littlest Shoggoth by Stan. Deep underwater, neath Pacific waves, lies a lost city, forgotten relay. Great Cthulhu sleeps there, dreaming of the day when the stars will be right and evil holds sway. Near where he sleeps, in his non-Euclidean home, beasts of the mythos swim, slither, and roam. A deep one sits next to a mellow sea dragon, singing sad, mournful songs about old Father Dagon. Hounds of Tindalos watch while Bayaki tumbles and bumbles and does things quite wacky. The Shoggoths all gather round an old seaweed stock, burbling and buzzing, that's the way that they talk. Now a Shoggoth can grow quite huge or stay small, but poor little Squammy was the smallest of all. Elder things teased him because he was so weak. The Mego abused him and called him Pipsqueak. Poor Squammy got picked on for year after year, till one day he shouted, I'm so out of here. You've laughed at and kicked me from now on no more. Now I'm going to be So Squammy turned round, having mustered his pride, then headed toward land with the inflowing tide. After marching all night, land was almost in reach, when a big breaking wave dropped him right on the beach. Dude, said a surfer, what's that pinkish goo? Hands off, said his friend. I think it's shark poo. I'm not poo, cried Squammy. I'm a beast from the sea. But the surfer fell over, laughing hysterically. Squammy could have run off, but he stood there instead. He reached out a tendril and engulfed the kid's head. The Shagas, who's angry, has but one thought in mind. Digest his tormentors, leaving just bones behind. Help! It's a monster! yelled the other kid. That made Squammy proud of what he just did. I am a real monster. I'm bad to the bone. I've just earned some respect. Now they'll leave me alone. But as Squammy oozed his way further on land, he saw lots of townsfolk with weapons in hand. Shooting and stabbing just worsened their fate, for Squammy got bigger with each person he ate. Soon he was so big that he dwarfed the whole town. No longer was he the smallest Shuggoth around. Quit it, said Squammy. There's no need to fight. But an armored platoon rolled its way into sight. I can't seem to end this. It wasn't my plan to cause a great battle. Who'll stop it? Who can? Then a window display of a department store gave him the answer he was searching for. If Squammy had hands, he'd raise some applause for the one who could save him, Santa Claus. He ate up the tanks as a last-minute snack, then headed up north and he never looked back. A brief stop in Oakland to munch on Bay Bridge and a night in Seattle where he napped for a smidge. He marched on beneath Aurora Borealis, and he didn't stop until he reached Santa's palace. Please, won't you help me? It's just been too much. I never did want all this fighting and such. I'm just a small shoggoth deep down in my soul. To conquer the world was never my goal. I'm really not fond of the Omnivarianism. It happens to be my defense mechanism. First picked on, then shot at. You can see it's a strain. If I don't get some peace, I'll for sure go insane. If you don't find a way to get them to can it, I'm afraid I'll devour the whole stinking planet. 
Squammy's nerves were quite frazzled after all he'd been through. So when old Saint Nick laughed, ho, 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 well, he ate Santa too. I'm sure you can guess the last part of the story. It's frightening and awful and really quite gory. Squammy ate it all, everything, everywhere. He drank up the oceans and gulped down the air. Great Cthulhu awoke, yawned and stretched as he said, What a strange dream I've had. Time to get out of bed. First he looked round in shock, then he howled to the night. Happy solstice to all. May your stars all be right. The end. Yay! Now off to bed with you, or Santa won't leave you any coal in your stockings. Yay! Joyeux Noël. And a very unhappy holiday to you. <laughs> <laughs>